Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is a tip I want to show you guys. Um, so many of you write me who are new to mixed media and art journaling and don't have a lot of supplies and you don't uh, quite know, you know, what all the cool stuff you could use or, you know, what have you uh, to get texture if you do not have molding paste, modeling paste, or texture paste, or what have you. So, now, bear with me. Um, but I just, I'm going to show you a few things here. Let me just get my paintbrush out here. If you have any, uh, PVA glue, which we, that's Elmer's white school glue here. Um, can't use that one. Then get that out. And I will use that today because you guys ask a lot ugh, for me to do that. So I have my, uh, white school glue here. I kind of hold it up like this. Now I usually use Mod Podge, but look, you can use your white school glue, PVC uh, glue, whatever, PVA glue, PVC. I don't know. PVC pipe, PVA glue. <laughs> okay. So go to your dollar store. What you're going to find at your dollar store is all kinds of cool stuff. I just have a piece of paper here um, and I'm not going to put a base coat down or anything on it or mixed media. I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do. So one of the things that you can get at your dollar store at mine as well, you can get uh, yarn, you can get pieces of lace, um, you can buy, you know, socks and that kind of thing for a dollar and take the lace off and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to lay this down and look how much great sparkle that is. Now I'm going to move in a little bit so we can um, just concentrate on the middle of the paper there. But look, look at this, how cool. And look at it's yellow, I mean yellow, gold and um, silver in it. So that is going to be a fun thing to put down and you can also use, I love these things. These are makeup remover pads and they have two sides. So I think Emily got a hundred or 50 or something for a dollar, but you can use them, you know, you can, Look, you can, if you're using your art journal or art for yourself or family members or whatever, maybe you use this to remove makeup or, um, you know, to use like sea breeze or whatever on your face, uh, and it's already used, that's fine. But you know, you can just use them plain as well. Um, but recycling is always great, but look, you can get that on the background and this, so we can do a couple things with this. So we have this, now you can see this lace has this white part. Well, you know, you don't have to, cause I know somebody will write me and say, but I don't want to use that white part. Well then don't cut it off, but don't throw it away because all right, scissors, my doll scissors that I use way too much. Now look how nice that lays. We're going to glue that down, but now you have this. Well, this could be texture as well. You don't have to throw it away. And for here, I'm going to show you, just going to show you a couple little things here. If I can find what I did with my, it was right here looking, staring at me all day. Here it is. I covered it with the lace I picked up, of course, because why not? I'm just going to use distress ink, use whatever ink pad or even paint that you have. And watch what happens. I'm just going to push it down. I'm almost out of ink. So I use these, use these pads for mixed media sometimes. And I really work the crap out of them. But you see where I'm going with this, right? Now watch. Homemade stamp. Just going to press it down. Lift it up. What, Kelly? Oh, I know. Look. Oh, oh yeah. You want to stamp it maybe a little bit on this white? And watch what happens. Watch. Are you even kidding me? Nope, I'm not even kidding you. Look. All right? So I could just sit here all day and be like... I'm powdering my mat. Okay. So you see what I'm saying? So now let's do the other side. And I'm just going to get, it's going to be all over me. I know. I know. And then we can do the same kind of thing. I'll make sure you guys can see it. Push it down. Lift it up. Look. Now. Look at that. So you got two different, two different things. So that's really cool off the bat there. These are just makeup wipes. And like I said, the dollar store and, or Walmart or your group, wherever they're very inexpensive and you can definitely use them as, you know, um, stamps, right? Easy. 
And then when you're done or it's too full, you know, I mean, look how much ink these hold. So you really can get a lot of good prints, right? But maybe you, you know, you want to use it as a piece of texture. So you can paint it now or you could, you know, I'm going to take some white school glue. I got to decide what, what side do I want up? I think I want this side up. So I'm going to put some of my glue. Come on there, baby. Yep, I'm gonna put it on there, all right? Unscrew it. Yep, because it's all clogged. And I'm gonna just squeeze a little bit of glue on here with my brush. As you can see. Again, you can use a glue stick, you can use um, Mod Podge, you can use whatever you have. And then I can always put it here, push it down. And you can even put the glue over it if you want. No harm in doing that. I'm just sticking in. Just going. It's almost empty, so it's being a real pain in my butt. But I'm going to go around just on the edges. Now, here's the thing. You get so many of these in a package. So you just go. You don't give it a little press just to give it a help for a second and I have like three sitting here so I can continue on and put those on there right now you could do the same thing you could stamp on this or whatever but you don't have to so maybe I'll just put it over here and we're just going to build up a little bit of a background on cheap dollar store things and I'm just going to throw this glue here and go over some of the Red. Now the distress inks are not permanent, so you know you get a little smeared, but guess what? I don't care. And then just lay that on there. Keeps getting stuck to my finger. Pat it down. I'm not gonna put this glue on top of here, and the reason why you can see I'm just kind of very gently going, or you can use your fingers if you're not not a scared to, not scared. Um, but I want that sparkle. And what you'll see. See that sparkle? I don't want to lose that sparkle. And then there's our puff. Now it'll dry. And you just keep, you know, you just keep going and going and going and adding different things. You have washi tape. Maybe, maybe you got a package of washi tape and maybe you don't care for the sticker. Maybe it was a three pack and the one in there you didn't care for or whatever. Well, don't despair and don't throw away these wonderful cardboard things in some of these. All you're going to do, guess what? You're going to zoom it, zoom it, zoom it. You're going to get some ink on there. And you're going to make circles. Look how easy. Now, you don't have this. Maybe you have some cooking spray upstairs. Or you're an empty, an empty paint bottle. And you can use the lid. I mean, there's so many things you can do. You can use the lid. Right? Clean it off if it's empty. Clean it off. And you can use... This part, you can use this part, you can use the under part. There are so many cool things you can do. And again, we have this piece. We can just glue down wherever we want it. And it just, you know, it's just fun. It's fun. It's different. And make a background uh, in so many different ways using so many different things. And if you really want to, you could slice that in half. I don't, I don't want to pull it up because it's drying. But um, you could slice it in half that way. And then you have two flatter pieces. It's just about having fun. It's not about necessarily, you know, having to have all the money in the world. It's about having fun and using things that you do have. You know, look at this. We could paint. Um, do this one. Let's turn it this opposite way. You could take that. Either way, you could paint that with a uh, skin tone and draw your angel or draw your body or make a dress or whatever. And then you don't have to put a face on her. She just has a blank face. So let me know if you want to do a video like that, and I will uh, definitely do a video using them. And that's it. So I hope you like my little tip. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, I just launched my first Patreon, um, and if you're interested uh, in helping me in any way, uh, the link is down below in the description. Please go check it out. Um, and if you can't, can you at least share it around for me? I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.